because it works for this case. So there are two ways to add the data set to the project workspace. To the project workspace, there are two ways to add the data set. Let me show you. I'm opening a Power BI desktop, right? Once you open, you want to prepare a data set. Click on transform data. You want to prepare a data set. Just give me one second, guys. Fine. So I open Power Query. You want to bring the tables, guys. From Power Query, let me bring some tables. Click on New Source and bring some tables. SQL Server. SQL Server. Let me give the server name here. Server details. Server name and database name. I want to give the database name here. I'll give the database name. Or if you want, you can give the database name or else it is optional, press OK. Press OK. You want to expand the tables here and select the tables which you need for analysis, press OK. Press OK. So then you go to each table and transform the data. I want to get customer full name if required. If, if you require any transformations, go and just do the transformations. I want a space between them. I want customer full name. So whatever you want, you can start doing it. And once you are, go to each table, once you are done with transforming the data, click on close and apply. Close and apply. When you click on close and apply, the tables will be loaded to Power Pivot. The tables will be loaded to Power Pivot. Once the tables are loaded to the Power Pivot, if you want, you can create the new information with the DAX case. In any of the table, if you want to create new measures or something, you can create it. Once after that, you want to save and you want to publish it case. So first, in the model view, you want to do the data modeling. In the model view, you want to do the data modeling. You want to do the data modeling. And in the data view, if you want to create any new information, you can create it. And once you are done with that, you want to save the data set save it and publish it save it in the desktop i'll give the name as product data set product data set save it in the desktop product data set i'll give the name so some extension i'll give it 9 am january 2021 so i'll save it desktop click on save once you click on save you can publish it guys click on publish so one way to publish the data set is once you create it and you can find an option called publish when I click on publish I can move it so I want to choose the data set 9 a.m. so 9 a.m. December 2020 power Bay files when I click on it so sorry I want to move it to project workspace let me move it to project workspace project 9 a.m. Jan 2021 when I click on select so when you save any report in the Power BI desktop, when you, re when you publish it to Power BI service, it will be split it into two parts. One is data set, second one is report. We, we already discussed it. When you publish uh, something to the Power BI service, we successfully published it. That report will be split it into two parts. Look at this. You'll get one data set here, product data set. You'll get one extra data set called product data set. And along with the data set, you'll get an extra report also, product data set, a report. So this data set will contain Power Query and Power Pivot code. Power Query as well as Power Pivot code will be there. And a report will contain Power View code. Power View code. <laughs> report will contain Power View code. And once you open the data set, once you open the report, nothing will be there. It's a dummy report. You can even delete it. You can even delete it. So like this, this is one way to add the data set to the project workspace. There is another way also. Let me delete it. I'm deleting this data set. There is another way to add the same data set to the project workspace. There is a data set which was developed and I want to add it to my project workspace. Let me show you here. We are discussing about how to add the data set to the project workspace. What happened? 
how to add the data set to the project workspace we are discussing so data set can be project workspace two ways one way to add the uh, data set to the project workspace is just go and click on publish in power bi desktop click on publish so one way using power bi desktop click on publish you can add the data set second way you don't want to open the data set in the power bi desktop you don't want to click on publish directly open the workspace so if i want to bring the data set to this workspace you want to open that workspace you want to bring it i want to bring the data set to 9 am workspace project 9 am workspace open it first once you open it so open the workspace and once you open the workspace in the bottom you'll find get data guys when you open the workspace in the bottom you will find get data using that get data also you can bring the data set when i click on get data it will open a window like this so there is uh, you want to go with files so this is a file pbx file i stored this report this is a file it's a pbx file i want to bring it how can i bring it is so just go here go to the workspace and click on get data click on files so if you want to bring any files related to power bi desktop you need to click on files bring in your reports or workbooks or data from excel power bi desktop or csv files so click on get when i click on get you can see here local files one drive files so where you have it it is there in my local machine click on local files desktop desktop somewhere you can find that file that file is what product data set you can select the data set file and you can click on open when you click on open the data set will come to the project workspace so look at this you got a product data set this is the second way of bringing the data set open the workspace on the bottom you will find get data bottom you will find get data and when you go to the get data you'll find get data you need to click on files and you need to browse where the data set is located browse and once you browse it so you need to click on get so when i click on it files get files click on get local files on it when you click on any file click on open that's it browse it and click on open when you click on open the data set will come to the project workspace these are the two ways where we can bring the data set to the project workspace where we can bring the data set to the project workspace the second one is fine so when you add the data set like this to the project workspace you will get one data set you got one data set as usual you will get one dummy report also as usual you will get one dummy report also and as usual you will get one uh, so it, it will add one more thing called dummy dashboard when you open this report nothing will be there and even it will add a dummy dashboard when you open the dashboard nothing will be there using this get data when you bring it using this get data when you bring it when you bring some data set to the project workspace it will give data set it will give reports and dashboards guys reports and dashboards let me go and delete it delete this that dummy nothing is there delete it like this you can add the data sets to the project workspace once the data set is added to the project workspace the next work we need to do is the next work we need to do is how to create multiple reports by multiple users using the same data set now we'll try to understand how to create multiple reports by multiple users using the same data set let's continue right how to create multiple reports by multiple users using the same data set create multiple reports by multiple users using the same data set let me show you so now i have a data set prepared here this is my data set so i just 
to show some example i added one more data set here ignore it for now we already prepared one data set using this data set i want to create multiple reports so in this project both user 29 is working user 30 is working user 29 want to create 10 reports using the same data set user 30 also want to create 10 more reports using the same data set so they, they shared the work they shared their work totally 20 reports you want to create in this workspace they shared that work so already data set was prepared so both the people they no need to prepare the data set any one of the person want to prepare the data set data set is there in the project workspace on the data set totally 20 reports they want to create they shared the work user 29 is planning to create 10 reports and user 30 is planning to create another 10 more reports user 30 want to create 10 more reports guys 10 more reports user 29 and user 30 is planning to create 10 10 reports here 10 10 reports here so user 29 and user 30 is planning to can create 10 10 reports in the total reports so using same data set a single data set which we have in the project workspace so to do that what i need to do is how to create report is first we need to open power bi desktop guys let me close this file by desktop only so whatever these reports user 29 and 30 want to create they will develop in power bi desktop only reports will be developed 